In the aftermath of this New York abortion law, we go to our next guest on Capitol Hill, who says he will work to protect the unborn. Newly elected Senator Mike Braun of Indiana joins us now. He is the only Catholic freshman in the U.S. Senate. Welcome to the show, Senator. Well, good to be on. It's good to have you. Senator, we just saw New York State pass an expansive new abortion law on the anniversary of Roe v. Wade. What are actions that you and other pro-life senators can do at the federal level to protect human life? Well, you know, I've always been a uh, protector and a proponent of trying to work some of these terrible laws to where it respects the sanctity of life. And truly disappointing when I understood that the Senate couldn't get a bill across the finish line recently that was going to outlaw abortions after 20 weeks. And then you get the news of where they're bragging about this legislation in New York. And um, I'm hoping the courts weigh in on that like they always do when we try to protect the sanctity of life. So I was appalled by that and uh, hope that uh, somehow we can marshal our efforts and uh, prevent stuff like that happening. Absolutely. Senator Steve Daines recently announced the creation of a pro-life caucus in the U.S. Senate. How significant do you think that will be and what's your reaction to the news? I think that's great. Uh, I've gotten to know uh, Senator Daines well. Uh, was at uh, a get together about a week ago and Susan B. Anthony, Indiana Right to Life, National Right to Life, they all supported me in my campaign. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I believe that it should be one of the simplest things that we should agree on and that's to protect life, you know, from its origin. We've gotten so far away from it. But I think with the leadership of Senator Daines, uh, somebody like myself that is an added recruit, maybe we'll start making true headway. This is the first time we've welcomed you onto EWTN Pro-Life Weekly. Can you tell our viewers why is the pro-life issue important to you? Well, I grew up in southern Indiana, and I think I come from the most Catholic county and small town in Indiana. Uh, 8,000 people when I grew up, 16,000 people now, and we have three large parishes within the community. Uh, you know, it was raised in a way that you respected life. And, you know, I uh, did everything I could as a state legislator to promote it. And I think it should be one of the simplest things that we all agree to. And uh, it was mostly my roots. Uh, you know, from an early age, I was taught that uh, God-given gift, respect life. Mm -hmm. Senator, when you were elected, you ousted former Senator Joe Donnelly. He is Catholic and also identified as pro-life, though voted in favor of abortion at times. What do you think your election tells us about American attitudes towards abortion, particularly those in the state of Indiana? Well, I think it says that you've got to do more than just say you're for something. You know, whenever it came to significant votes, you know, Senator Donnelly aligned with the liberal side of his party. Uh, I think it says that, you know, we need to be outspoken about something that's so important. And uh, I think that if you come from a state like Indiana and you say one thing and do another, uh, you should pay that uh, consequence. And uh, for me, it'll be an easy thing to do. Uh, and you can count on my trying to promote life every step of the way. Senator Mike Braun of Indiana, thank you so much for your time and for joining us on the show. You're very welcome.